Welcome to the introductory video tutorial of Bandit, our latest template for Joomla 2.5 and 3.1. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the basic settings and basic layout of Bandit, and we'll follow this up with a second video to show you the advanced features. So let's jump right in. So Bandit is a nice band site here for bands or recording artists. Um, you've got your featured area here in the inset and then you go down here to the upcoming shows but why don't we do it like this why don't we go ahead and click on tour and it's going to take us here to the upcoming shows go to news going to take us to the band news media it's going to take us to the media and so on so as you see this is a nice scrolling one page site but let's go ahead and look at the really nice features here this is style 4 which just features a really nice css3 spinning motion in the middle and a K2 article with a read more. But let's go ahead and check out Style 1. In Style 1, we use our YouTube background video player. We fly in the intro and then we start playing a music video. Right now we have the sound turned down, so we're not going to disturb this with uh, any music, but let's go ahead and see how this works. So, same action tour is going to bring us to the upcoming shows, news, media, and so on. So let's go ahead and check out Style 2. Style 2, we have a different video, a different band, and we have a different color scheme. See this color scheme is reds and grays. Get down here into the band news. And this is uh, the band news. You see we have some nice CSS3 effects here. And let's go ahead and finish up checking out the style. So let's check out style 3. This is a nice black and blue color scheme as well. We did a really intricate CSS3 effect here with a star rotating. And if you scroll down, you'll notice that this is a transparent style, so you can have the video bleeding through. And so let's go ahead and go back to style one now and let's go over the module positions and what's in use here. So of course, this is your logo position. You can set that in the template manager. Here we have our main menu and this is in the menu bar left module position. And this is using the suckerfish drop down. And here we have our background video player. Um, this is actually in a custom module position called style one because we're using style one it overtakes the background of the whole website and here in the inset position we're using our k2 content wall to bring in a k2 article with the date the intro text and the title and a buy now on our demo this takes you right to the product page for bandit in the quick start install that we give you, this is turned into a read more and goes to the same link that the title does here. So here we have our upcoming shows and this is actually in its own region. This is in user one. And then here in user 13, we have our K2 content wall as well. And this is showing a grid of three by two of latest events click on the ticket, it'll take you to the event, buy tickets takes you to the event, more info takes you to the event. Down here if you click on more events we have a drop down that shows you more events. And this is actually pulling from our K2 category of events of which we've created a custom K2 template just for the events. We'll check that out in a moment. So then as we go down here into uh, from the studio, this again is just in its own module position with some title text and this should be in user 19 and here in user 25 we're just embedding some sound clouds these are just the uh, sound cloud embed it's just like if you click share here and you get the embed code it's just an iframe and it's put into a custom html module this is user 25 25 user 26 and 26. so then down here in uh, i believe this is user 31 we have the uh, band news and then we have our another K2 content wall here. And this is pulling from the K2 content news section, which uses a custom template for K2 called uh, Bandit Standard. And again, this is in the same grid as we're using in the top, just with a little different styling. And this should be in user 37. 
Down here we have our socializer wall, and this is just displaying some social icons with links and the word get connected in between and a custom with some custom HTML. And underneath um, in the footer position is our logo and all the copyright information. So let's go ahead and quickly go over a few things here of what happens when you go ahead and uh, use this template on say a mobile device and uh, full scaling for responsive design. We are using Bootstrap and we have set up a responsive grid so let's check it out. As we pull in here and we get in close to device level you see we shrink things down as best we can until the point where they have to actually change so then we pull them in and they change and go full. As you see, we do have some animation going on here. This is just done with CSS3, so there's no JavaScript in here that's gonna conflict with anything. We just added some CSS3 animations to make you look good. So we're gonna pull it in, we're gonna go here to the responsive level um, for like a mobile. As you see, the video goes away, the image changes, so we can get a better view here. We've got our mobile menu and a search button. Come down here, everything's nicely fit into one column. We even enlarge these for mobile and go ahead and move them top and bottom. So as you see, this fits perfectly on tablet, phone, or right on the web. So let's go ahead and pull it out. The nice effect that I've really seen is um, on uh, my iPad mini when I change the orientation of the iPad and flip it to the side and up and down that the animation that happens here with the modules and with the responsive uh, really looks nice. It's really smooth. So you might want to check that out. So let's get into the guts of the template here. Um, we're going to go ahead and see what happens when we click on this is, uh, is the main slide. So this is a main slide category. We're going to click on it. It's going to take us to the K2 standard layout page. So as you see, we go ahead and we load in the image from K2, the title, Here's the details, and here is the article. Over here on the right, we have the ACY mailing module. We have another module with our socializer wall. And then you have your more articles here. This is another K2 content wall, just displaying uh, four rows of articles here. And we can go ahead and check this one for responsive too, because as you see, this will pull in. And as we pull in and get to this level, it's going to pull out pull it out like this, comes back, pull it in, moves out, pull it in even more, we go in more until we get to here, This, then come down to here, and as you see we can scroll down and see that everything fits nicely, and even the K2 wall here that was on the right, now we show the images. When it's at full width, we don't even show the images, so it makes it look a lot nicer once you go to the mobile level. So let's go ahead and pull this back out, and Let's go back to our home page. And let's go to the tour area. And let's see what we have for the tour area. So we're going to click on this Tampa link. And here again is a K2, but with another template design. And with this, we have our K2 image. We have our information here. Then we have the title of the article here. And this area here, right in here, this is custom fields. And so this is basically just a text area with the date for the event and a Find Tickets Online button. We've also included the image gallery with one image for the seating chart. And let's go back to the home page. And let's go down to the news section. And we'll go ahead and read more on this. And this is just, again, the standard K2 layout, just like the slideshow layout. So now let's go ahead and check out um, the rest of the K2 areas. So let's see our videos. And this is using a custom module here with a featured video. <clears throat> and then the videos here are a K2 category. So we just went ahead and put four in, and these are the intro images. So if we click on one, it's going to bring us up to the article page with the video and then you can just go back and then we're going to go over here to the standard k2 category here's your k2 category and read more as you see this is again using the standard k2 layout 
And now let's go ahead and look at uh, Joomla. So here's your core Joomla article layout, much the same as K2. Same with the right side information here and the right user module. We can go to the content layouts. Here's the two column blog. Read more. Here's our center featured layout, which puts a center featured article and two on each side. And then we have our left featured. And we have our right feature. And then here under the news, we give you all the rest of the login form and everything else is basically in Joomla, the web links, the wrapper, the contact. You can go ahead and go to the demo and check it out for yourself. Here on the tour, we have the event category and we have the event item. Here on home, we have our features. We talk about the XTC framework here. Here's your layout. Um, here's the included extensions, the typography page, and the module suffix page. So let's see some other custom things that we did. Um, we're going to go here to our photos. Our photos is basically using four Joomla articles. And in the article, we use our image gallery plugin, which you can find right on our website for free. And it basically just lets you go ahead and put in a tag for your gallery. And it displays whatever photos you have inside the gallery folder on your site. And it will go ahead and grid them out like this. And so what we did for this is we have our four articles. And this is our news pro module that you see here. And we're just basically using four different pages for the News Pro article, which pulls in the full text from the article, which is only the gallery. So here's the first gallery. Then we can click on two. There's the next Joomla article with more photos, the next gallery, and the next gallery. This is just a really easy way to put a, a gallery section on your website without using some special component and you know just having a hard time with it. You just upload your images and then go ahead and it pulls them right in. You just can separate your different galleries by folder and it's really quick. You can shuffle through them just like this. So that's just an added feature just to get you up and running really quickly. Uh, as far as our music, we just made a standard Joomla article and we went ahead and we embedded the embed code here for uh, my SoundCloud with some of my old uh, production work that I did. And then we can go over here and check out the uh, final area, which is the shop, which we use uh, the free version of K2 Store. And this is basically just a K2 article with our special shop template that we use for K2. And it's got the Add to Cart button here. We've gone ahead and just added a code here, embed code for the presets and here's the presets album here's the price add to cart and done so we've given you a really simple uh, e-commerce solution so if you're a band and you're looking to you know sell an album or if you want to sell merchandise this is just a really simple and easy way to go ahead and start selling online so that's going to wrap up the intro tutorial here uh, we'll be back later on in the week with our advanced tutorial and maybe some updates for the template. So I hope this helps to get you started and we'll see you next time.